Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know this, but I lost all of my data on my hard drive this week. Basically, I lost everything. And I know that sounds like really dramatic, but it's true. I lost everything that I've been working on for my channel, um, everything that I worked on in the past. I don't have any of the old templates that I used. So like the uh, original files that I was, my like master files basically for everything that I've done, the Quibbler, you know, uh, the Marauder's Map, all of that is gone. So if there's like a typo somewhere, I can't fix it. If there's some change that I want to make, I can't do that now. I'm going to have to just remake the entire template if I ever need to make a change to it. So it's pretty disappointing, but that's a big enough topic for a video on its own, which I might do at some point. But another thing that I lost was the spell book that I was working on, and that was one of the like hardest hits to my heart, I think, because the spell book is 50 pages. I just finished it like the day before my hard drive failed and I didn't back up anything because I'm an idiot, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't back up anything. It was 50 full pages, fully readable. Um, I drew all the hands, the illustrations of the hands and the wand motions and stuff, and I got most of the information for the spells from the Harry Potter wiki and some of it I wrote on my own. I wrote the intro myself and I made up the character who wrote the intro. I basically made up the character who wrote this book. So yeah, it was uh, pretty upsetting when I lost it all, but I managed to print a few of these out before I actually lost my data. So there are three copies, a total of three copies of this book in existence. Um, one of them I'm gonna keep, one of them I'm going to probably sell on Etsy or something, but the other one is what I'm making in this video today and I'm going to be giving that one away. So it's one of three master copies. So the way I'm going to get these templates to you is I have scanned all of these, basically all of the pages I scanned in from what I printed for this video. So luckily I got one printed out before my hard drive failed or else I wouldn't be able to do this for you guys. Anyway, go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies that you'll need to make this DIY, as well as a link to the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. The first thing you want to do for this is download the free templates and print them out. The cover is printed on cardstock while the interior pages are all printed on regular paper and they are all double-sided. So just print these all out, keep them in order, and then just line them up with each other. And then we're going to take a few paper clamps and we're going to clamp all of the pages together so that we keep them uh, basically, you know, stacked and lined up perfectly. Now what we need to do is staple these together in the middle, about right here, in two places. Now, normally we would, uh, you know, use attack to put a few holes in here, four holes in, to be exact, in order to put a staple through these, but there are so many pages that it's going to be difficult to do this with attack. So you could do that, but you might have to go in little batches of uh, paper. So what I recommend is actually using a long reach stapler. Now I got this thing uh, a while ago and this is amazing so if you don't have one you should get one of these you can staple pretty much anything with it so basically um, over here we have a little part that slides where we can measure what we're stapling and then we can just staple this right in the middle and the way I'm just kind of eyeballing it basically I'm looking at the margin on this side of the page and I'm making sure that the staple is about that same uh, length away from this line here. So I'm just trying to make the margin about the same size. And that looks about right. And if you want to, you can actually measure this out, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and I think it's gonna be good enough. And now we can take the paper clamps off. We can fold this in half where the staples are. 
And now we will take our ruler and X-Acto knife and we're gonna trim off all of this white space around the edges of the paper. So we're gonna line up our ruler with where we wanna cut. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife and just follow along that line. And we're gonna have to go over this uh, multiple times to make sure that we cut through all of the paper. Now I have cut off all of the edge here so we'll just turn it and cut off the rest. Now I've finished cutting off all of the white space from around my book of spells. So right now, I mean, it's pretty much done. We have all of the pages in order here, as well as the cover and back cover in cardstock. But I kind of want to add the Hogwarts like library card in here like we did on the Dark Arts Defense book DIY. So basically we're going to do the same thing as we did on that DIY here. So just print out the Hogwarts um, library card insert and then we're just going to cut this out with a ruler and X-Acto knife like we have done before. Now that this Hogwarts uh, card envelope is cut out. Basically the way this is going to get folded is just like this. We're going to fold it in half and then uh, these two parts here are going to fold in. And now what we want to do is just glue these two parts in like this and we're going to glue these onto the back of this uh, card slot. And we'll do that just with uh, a glue stick. So once we have glue on this part, we'll just uh, fold it in like this and just glue this part on to the back of the envelope like that. And now to make this look a little better, I'm going to use a corner rounder to round off the corners right here like that. And now what I want to do with it is just glue it right here on the inside front cover. And again, I'll just use a glue stick to put the glue on the back of this and then just center it as best as you can and just glue it down. You'll again use your ruler and X-Acto knife to cut out this Hogwarts library card, but we're going to also use the corner rounder to round the corners. So the Hogwarts library card should look like this. And then the library card should fit right here into this pouch. Now you should have a complete spell book. So on the inside cover, you'll have your Hogwarts library card, and then you should have a 50 page spell book. Um, just a quick reference manual. And as I said before, I did write the introduction and I made up the character uh, Dervis McCaslin as the author of this book. If you want a chance at winning the spell book that I made in this video today, go ahead and click the link to the weekly giveaway in the description box below. Speaking of winning things, I do have big plans for my 20K giveaway. Um, I don't have anything that I want to really uh, announce just yet because I don't have everything uh, set in stone, but stay tuned because I will be announcing my plans for my 20K giveaway probably within the next couple of videos. But I can say right now that for my 17K giveaway, I'll be giving away a Mar Marauder's Map. And now to announce the winner of my last video, which was the Chocola markers and Harry Potter templates so that you can decorate your windows. And the winner is Isaiah Vasquez. Congratulations, and I have sent you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. I get a lot of ideas for the DIYs I do from your comments, so if you have an idea of something you want to see me do in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more Harry Potter DIYs and more, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.